Duta means messenger. I'm Sagar. I play a journalist, and um, in my life, suddenly there are these predictions that start coming through uh, with a newspaper crossword. You know, small cuttings of newspaper crosswords that keep coming to me. With a lot of the elements come in uh, after the music. When all these layers come in, that's when you know the true uh, immersive experience of the supernatural genre. Uh, talking about Tamil, Telugu, or uh, Hindi cinema. Do you think audience is more interested in watching? No, I think it's a time where the language barrier has uh, blurred. So you know, uh, audience, there is no north south anymore. There's just one. It's Indian cinema. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Your favorite Bollywood movie? Jungle. Your favorite genre to work in? Love stories. Your Bollywood crush? Not. I can't tell you. Right <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shatanya. How are you? Hi, Devi. I'm good. How are you? First of all, tell me I am very good. Tell me how are you feeling after getting this overwhelming response on Duta? I am really, really happy. So excited and overwhelmed. It's been a week since the release, and uh, in fact, I was just checking on Amazon today also, and it's still on number one in India. So, so happy. The reviews have been great. Uh, there, there's, there've been these whole bunch of new people who never texted me before, who are texting me. So, it feels so happy. Uh, that the show is getting so much recognition. No, definitely. I have watched the uh, first four episodes. I'm I loved it. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Anyway, nice. first of all, uh, first of all, tell the viewers what does Duta actually mean. Well, I have seen it, but still, you tell. Duta means messenger. Uh, okay. Basically, I can't reveal the plot to you, uh, but the show is about. Uh, I'm I'm Sagar. I play a journalist and. Um, in my life suddenly there are these predictions that start coming through uh, with a newspaper crossword you know small cuttings of newspaper crosswords that keep coming to me with certain predictions initially it's about uh, you know threats around me but then it starts getting into my family threats about my family about my life so that's when the drama really intensifies and uh, you really get immersed into the show from that point onward from yeah yeah from- exactly you're right Well, yeah. uh, why you said yes to a horror genre script? I mean, uh, I have seen uh, there are so many stars who avoid doing such projects when they are young or uh, when they are at the peak of their career. And especially talking about uh, Tamil or Telugu cinema, where action and thriller are more popular. So, right. what made you say yes to the script? Oh uh, well, see, supernatural thriller is something I've always, uh, you know, have been curious about to explore as an actor. um and also having uh, watched a lot of ott content it sort of inspired me to want to explore myself in the space so the minute vikram came to me with a supernatural thriller he's great with this genre if you watch his films uh, 13b or uh, 24 mm. and manam which is a love story but has a lovely layer of a supernatural element uh, sort of uh, stitched into it <coughs> so when he came to me with a supernatural thriller i thought it's the best way to sort of come out of my comfort zone and really explore this space because i really like the way he presents presented me in my previous films his aesthetic sense is very good and he really brings out the performance of an actor so yeah so all these points sort of were a win win and what more having prime video sort of launched me into the ott space so yeah exactly well i have watched as i said first four episodes and uh, uh, i must say it gave me both the vibes of horror plus the surviving thriller yeah so uh, you tell while listening to the script or while shooting did you feel scared at any point of time uh honestly no it's it's a it's a lot different acting in it than uh, watching it because uh, with supernatural what uh, duta is uh, a lot of the elements come in uh, after the music uh, is uh, come uh, comes together or after the sound effects it's, it's when all these layers come in that's when you know the true uh, immersive experience of the supernatural genre comes uh, through to the audience so yeah while acting in it no it did, it, it I wasn't scared or anything like that it's just that from start to end the show is shot in rain every frame has rain in it so that was the only challenging part about being on set okay anyway chetan as you mentioned about 13b which was released in uh, 2009 if i'm not wrong r madhavan was there as the lead and the plot was uh, revolving around some tv serial predicting their lives and what not how duta is different from that uh duta is basically about 
predictions that happen to uh, 13b is about a tv and and you know the tv serial duta is completely different it comes from a journalism backdrop without revealing the plot too much it's to do with a newspaper and mm-hmm. and it's to do or uh, the the world is of journalism so i would say that is the biggest contrast yeah between 13b and duta i have not watched 13b in full uh, form because i am very scared to consume horror i can't sleep at night and you want it such a project <laughs> i will i have to do it at okay, some point other people is okay <laughs> we're here to entertain in whatever way the audience wants okay, to talking about uh, talking about tamil telugu or uh, hindi cinema and uh, the collaboration these days do you think audience is more interested in watching the tamil or uh, telugu and that is why hindi cinema which we call bollywood is uh, you know trying to collaborate with the actors or directors there like uh, for rrr or animal or your uh, lal singh chadda no i think it's a time where the language barrier has uh, blurred so you know uh, audience there is no north south anymore there's just one it's indian cinema that's the way i look at it so um, i think tamil collab uh, north collaborating with south south collaborating with north is something going forward is just going to happen so much more and it's a great time you know for for us actors or filmmakers because the whole language barrier is blurred audience is watching content from all over uh, for them more than the language now it is the content that is really uh, exciting them so if from wherever it may be if the content is uh, immersive then they are rooting for you yeah okay and uh, if we talk about directors or actors from tamil or telugu cinema and uh, bollywood is kind of you know calling directors from there to make movies like kabir singh or animal so do you think that uh, directors from their actors from there have more potential no, to make no, a I big think... budget massive movie no i don't think so i think uh, uh, uh filmmakers are filmmakers it can be from anywhere like i said it's about the content uh, you know if the content is convincing and if the content is original the filmmaker can be from anywhere and the audience will encourage it uh, we have remade so many hindi films so yeah. many Uh, you are talking about the last few ones but we have remade so many hindi films and they have been very successful in the south and at the same way north is remaking so many south films and they are very successful so it's just a great time for collaboration and uh, you know a uh, great time for cross collaboration well how was your experience how was your experience uh, while working with amir khan and karina kapoor in lal singh chadda oh, it was a great experience it was like going to school Uh, i learned so much uh, i didn't uh, share any screen sa- space with karina ma'am but with amir sir you know spent so much time uh, i mean what i learned from him in those 6 months i is more than what i've learned in the last 12 years of being in the industry so that's how much i really got from that film yeah anyway are you comfortable in hindi uh, talking in hindi <coughs> my hindi is not the best but fortunately i had my uh, a uh, dialogue sent to me way in advance so i could really work on them and we shot sync sound so what you are hearing in lal singh is my voice so yeah i, I think if i have time to prepare i can i i'll be come okay coming back to dhuta uh, so this is your ott debut uh, how does it feel uh, being a uh, 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 first of all you are a star kid if i say nagarjun sir and uh, he used to act in you know big action thrillers movies and you know a uh, wide range of movies was there and uh, coming to ott is it a good, good choice you think see i think the choice is very personal it will vary from individual to individual but for me it was a very conscious decision to want to be in the ott space because going forward i feel uh, <coughs> both are really going to coexist the the cinema screen and the ott screen um uh, the audience is going to be very clear as to what films they want to watch in the theater and what they want to watch at home so mm-hmm. for me as an actor i want exposure on both platforms um uh and with ott you know the kind of exposure you get if your content really connects is enormous the whole world will probably consume your content so um, yeah it was a very conscious decision for me and for me i think going down i definitely as an actor want to balance myself in both places and be relevant in both territories and what is the difference uh, while working in uh, in a movie and working in an ott platform as an actor the same the process everything the we're here we're here to really explore the art and to 
really push our boundaries uh, as an actor i am so uh, for me it was the same same thing it's just that over here uh, there's so much more screen time you get 300 minutes plus of screen mm-hmm. time you have a lot more time to sort of explore every layer of the character mm-hmm. uh, exactly which, that is what i was asking yeah which makes it a very very interesting uh, uh, process yeah okay And okay well that, Uh, for films also you have to tell a character to us which is also very challenging so both have its challenges okay let's uh, do five quick questions we have to answer in one word okay. your favorite bollywood movie my favorite i can't tell you a favorite there's so many favorites <laughs> one you have to pick the most favorite one jungle okay your bollywood crush if any <laughs> no not i can't tell you that <laughs> <laughs> your favorite genre to work in love stories okay and uh, whom do you choose to work with first if get a chance alia bhat dipika padukone or katrina kaif multi star or anyone else multi star with all of them oh <laughs> is such an opportunity <laughs> <laughs> okay and anyway, let's wrap up the interview thank you for talking to ent live thank and you, we hope uh, to see you soon uh, more on ott and on theater Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank thank you, Chetanya. Thank you.